What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be installing a MMI box into my BMW that's gonna give us CarPlay, wireless CarPlay, screen mirroring, Android Auto, and more. I'm super excited for this, stay tuned. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing we have to do here is turn off or unplug the battery. So to do that, we're just gonna go ahead and um, pull this panel out. And here is your battery. We are just gonna go ahead and unplug the negative um, <clears throat> terminal. And there's the battery, and we're just gonna go ahead and unplug the uh, negative negative terminal. So just a sec. Okay, so to do that, <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and use the wrench with a 10 millimeter socket. You can use a deep socket. I just used an extension, and we're gonna go ahead and use that with the battery. Okay, the battery is unplugged. We're gonna use this uh, prying tool and we're gonna go ahead and open up this bottom piece here. Uh, <clears throat> that is uh, pretty simple. It doesn't look like we have any LED here, so there's uh, usually would be an LED type of uh, plug, so we don't have anything like that there. Um, okay, so I wonder if we'll, be, if we'll have any room to put it, to install it right here. Okay, the first thing we have to do is we have to take out this uh, trim. Um, and in order to do that, there's a few uh, clipping spots here and we have to just go ahead and uh, pry it with something like this uh, pry tool. With something like this uh, pry tool and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to go ahead and start right here on this side. goes okay okay. got one so we have the top one here which is the Emergency light. No, it's the door lock, and the top, and the other one here is gonna be the emergency light. So we're gonna go ahead and take that one off as well. both of them unplug now this one and this one and this one as well just to show here this cable is Kind of guided through this plastic. So we're going 
I'll go ahead and remove that. And at this point, we can take this part and put it, put it aside. Just like that. Okay. Now, what we've done is we've exposed four screws. So we have four screws. These are supposed to be T20 Torx. So T20 Torx is what we're gonna use. So with those four removed, we can go ahead and pull, pull this off. Next, we have two more T20 Torx screws that are right here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove those now. Okay, so this <clears throat> frees up the head unit. So for the head unit, we can now go ahead and pull out like this. All right, so here is our head unit. We have a bunch of connections in the back. Okay. So let's go ahead and we're going to open up our MMI box, see what cords we have there and what we have to do. So this is our unit. <clears throat> this is our unit. This is our MMI box. And we have a bunch of different cables here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and plug everything into here first. And then I'm just going to do it like that. Okay. So in the back here, we have basically everything plugged in except for the LVDS out. That will be the cord that goes from the display straight into here. And so basically we'll take the, the cable that comes out of the display, unplug it, plug it in here. And then this guy, LVDS in, we're gonna take and plug it into the display. So we're just kind of swapping those. We're just kind of swapping those out a little bit. Okay. So I think we have all of that preset. There's just not a lot of room to work with over here. So that's gonna be the toughest. Uh, the toughest thing I think. Okay, so we do have two more screws here which are gonna remove the display. Okay, so that is now six screws that we've had to remove. So now that we remove this, this can just kind of pop out. That this popped out and spin it around like that. And we're just gonna go ahead and see how that works. Okay, I see. So there's a little clip. So there's a little clip here on the side, right here, that you can use to pull that cable out. Okay. So we have that, that took some effort. You have to be uh, a little bit firm with it. Okay, so now that we took the display off, we have this cable that, as you can see, uh, if you can see kind of where it goes. So that is uh, what we're gonna go ahead and pull out through here. So now that we pulled that out, we have to plug it into the MMI unit. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. If your car has an optical connection, it would be this green cord that goes inside of, uh, inside of here. It specifically goes into two of these, two of these guys. So I just had to spend some time removing that and how I was able to remove that <clears throat> I want to show you again on here 
there are tabs right here so if you use something like a thin screwdriver you can push that like that and then pull the optical so it took some time it took some time to do that but um, I got it but once I got it it was still part of this bundle so I had to un untape take the tape off off of that and yeah go about it that way so now we're gonna go ahead and plug in the MMI's plug okay so we plug that in now we're gonna go ahead and plug this black box in the spot that used to be Plug that in. Okay, so I had to reverse this because if I plug in how it was, um, it would have to go like this and then I can't plug in anything right here. So by reversing that, um, I'm gonna be able to. So I just had to make sure that the cord looks the same and it did. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do like this. These different. There we are. How can I do that though? Like if I plug this in, check it out. If I plug this in, it just takes up this space. There's just nowhere to go. We're gonna end up using the blue cord like so. Use this end of the blue cord. Like so. This one was correctly plugged in into this one that it should be plugged into. That one will go to in. And this one. Nice. Thanks. Okay. Okay, that makes all the sense. Oh, we have the antenna. Kind of plug in in a little bit. Okay. There's just not a lot of room. The room is the biggest, the biggest issue here.
as you can see, it did seem to work as expected, but my phone is dead, so that makes it a bit harder. Couldn't test every single thing yet. So, I think we are done. Now we're gonna try it. So we have everything connected. We have wireless CarPlay, there's no cord. CarPlay still works. It's pretty, uh, pretty neat. Yes, that's great. If I put it in reverse, oh, it didn't activate. Okay. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we have CarPlay finally in our car. That looks very nice, I like that. And it's full screen, which is also a big plus. It took some time to install this. I think it probably took a couple of hours. I, I, I was trying to figure out how to do a couple things here. Um, so yeah, other than everything that you've seen here, I'll probably uh, do a little bit, of more, little bit more tinkering. Uh, to figure out how exactly this unit works. Everything works, the sound works, the microphone works. Uh, the one thing I'm not able to get to work yet, and I'm not sure why, is the camera won't automatically uh, switch, but it's simple enough as if I just hold the menu button, um, it will switch just fine. So yeah, it's, it's okay. Um, I can live with that for now until I figure out how to do it, but um, yeah, this is uh, this is really exciting, guys. <laughs> I have CarPlay finally. I had CarPlay in my last car, and uh, I missed it so much. This is this is amazing. Um, so yeah, this is all I have for now, guys. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to to mess with this a little bit, see if it works, see what's going on, and um, that's all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. If you're trying to do this on your uh, on your own. It's not awfully hard. You really only need to remove like six or seven screws. Uh, beyond that, it's, um, beyond that, there's really nothing else. Like you have to manage the cabling, which is a pain in a little bit, but there is a, there is room um, like straight down to the right and to the left. So what I did, I, I used the, the one that's straight down to tuck in some of those cables. Um, and then um, as you could see, I kind of like made, used all the cords this is where i have the um usb coming out of um so yeah i mean that's pretty much all there is to it um i'll have to see i'm on a beta version of ios so i have to see what all you can do with this at the moment but this was a lot of fun to to do um i'm, I'm really glad i was able to do that and yeah if you have any questions about how this device works or how you get the car to use carplay or anything like that um please let me know in the comment section below and I'll probably make another follow-up video um, a little bit down the road. Uh, but until then, uh, please like, share and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.